recognize the brand if you've ever set foot in a convenience store selling cigarettes. And while they go by different names, the key flavor profile menthol could get them pulled from the shelves if the FDA has its way. Fox Sports Chico Kittlestad joins us now live from Broadway, where these cigarettes are easily found. He's been talking with smokers today. Jake, what led to this? Well, today's announcement comes after a lawsuit filed by anti-smoking groups forcing the FDA to make a decision on menthol. Now, allegedly, the agency had unreasonably delayed making a decision on a petition that was filed all the way back in 2013. Making a quick stop for smokes, it's an evening ritual for some people on Troost Avenue. For menthol, no one flavor. You know, number one choice. I smoke black and mouths, or I might smoke like a Newport. I don't even know how to even say, you know what I mean? Like, everybody smokes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 16, 17, you know what I mean? But I mean, like, you know, um, I didn't quit it, you know what I mean? It's on and off, you know what I mean? But I think that it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if they ban them, you know, uh, a lot of people that have a lot of lives, you know what I'm saying? Because I know people get cancer off smoking cigarettes. And that is a shared feeling with other groups. What does that mean for the American Lung Association? The American Lung Association is very excited about the announcement today. Erica Sward, VP of Advocacy, says banning menthol cigarettes will result in fewer kids starting. Kids, as well as adults, often choose menthols because the minty flavor soothes the throat while the smoke goes down. The tobacco industry has spent decades marketing uh, menthol cigarettes at communities of color, uh, at the LGBTQ community, and as a result, there are tremendous health disparities associated with um, death and disease. I mean, I, I know a couple people that have had lung cancer, you know what I mean? You come to the store, you want to get a soda, you want to get a bag of chips, and then this is what you get advertised. Yeah. A beer, Cigarettes. Where are here do you see a bag of chips advertised? But there is a little hesitation in talking about the proposed flavored cigar ban. But oh, wait a minute, I can't buy I can't buy cigarillos. Yeah, like switch. Uh, I can't buy uh, a sweet look. Oh no no no, we can't do that. To be honest, I want to. You know what I'm saying? I do want to switch over the paper. But man, that's gonna be a hard task, man. Think about our kids. Like I don't want my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my daughter smoking cigarettes. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I really don't. And let's say that the ban is approved by the FDA. Well, it would be expected then that there would be a big legal challenge mounted by the tobacco industry. So the timeline on this potential menthol cigarette ban is a little bit up in the air right now, John. Jake, thanks. The course just isn't up to par yet, which is why Jackson County is extending its closure.